Hi, thanks for watching my video today. I've been helping a lot of people out lately on Facebook and I want to explain a few things to make things easier uh, when I'm talking to people on Facebook about how to do certain things in, B in BeamMG. The first thing, if, if you have to go to file locations in BeamMG in the Steam area, it can be kind of deep. It's C drive, programs, uh, Oh, Steam, get, sorry, my cat's fighting with me. So it would be Steam, Steam Apps, Common, BeamMG, Content, and then Levels. So to avoid all that, because anyways, it's, it's hard to converse that information through typing on Facebook sometimes. Just right-hand click on your desktop, go to New, and go to Shortcut and then steer or browse to that location. So you go this PC, C drive, program, Steam, Steam apps, common content, da 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 da. And just give it a name and put it on your desktop. So I have two that I always keep here. This one takes me directly to my Steam. So boom, I'm there. And the other one, well, I think I still got to go to content. Yeah, so I should have made the shortcut to here. But And then the other one, I, I go directly to my 024 level. So I'm right there. There's my mods. So that's one way. There is another folder location. Um, don't really think you'd really need to go there. It is your, um, let's see, I think it's users, username. Uh, you'd have to view all files, uh, show hidden files. And then uh, app data, local, and let's see, Steam, I'm sorry, BMMG Drive, and then 024, and here. So there is a third location that you could add, but these are the two primary ones. So create those shortcuts to make life a lot easier for you. Number two, I had somebody asking me about how do I because I love to um, you'll see some of my videos I like to use the photo mode and I have a vehicle that van right there and a wall right there and a chase vehicle right there so that van is going to chase that vehicle <coughs> just for this purpose so I'm going to unpause it. Well, well, let's unpause it. But up here is photo mode. And this is where you can edit your field of view. Let's speed things up. I think I got that frozen. There we go. So let's go back down there. So it's escape and photo mode. And here you can also speed up your camera, by the way. You can do the same thing in F11 in the World Editor. So again, this is where I like to edit my field of view. And not only can you edit your field of view, you can blur the UFOs, the mountains, and everything. You can control the distance of the blur by blurring out the, uh, the backgrounds. And that's pretty cool. And we'll just let this van go, and then I'll show you a couple more things that you can do. You just hit Alt-U, and it will go away. Get your fingers on your keys. Press J, pause, and then go to your new angle, which I guess maybe from the side would be cool. <coughs> Press J, let it go. Speed things back up a little bit. You see how the van sunk in that water? I changed the consistency of that water to something different than water. So, um, and another thing, if you record your scenes inside here, they actually have where is it? Uh, let's pause that. Oh, aperture. Focus distance, contrast, ambient occlusion. Oh, smooth. That smooths the camera 
and gets rid of all that jitteriness if you're if you're going to follow the vehicle through the crash anyways it gives you a very smooth movement oh and right here you have filters and you can add different uh, filters it makes it look like old-fashioned 8-bit and you have pumped which is just very vibrant colors I think looks a little bit more vibrant kind of whitewash glamour uh, glamour is pretty cool glamour looks good and what else glamour vintage see the cool thing is if you don't have a video editing software with filters BeamMG has given you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Oh, wait, there's more. About nine, ten, eleven, probably about twelve different filters. Thriller. And warm. So, anyways, that's how the photo mode works. Oh, and one more cool thing about photo mode it's great for screenshots. Let's turn this off. Go back to default. And you can do screenshots with it too. So if you wanted to take a picture of your of your artwork, <coughs> just get your camera in position and you can mess around with the field of view as wide as you want or as tight as you want it. And just click photo. And to get to your screenshots, I believe they are located right there. O two four screenshots. So, anyways, remember create those two folders, and to exit to uh, to get to this, just press Escape and Photo Mode. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.